How to keep hair light and flowy. Don't overload hair with heavy product, hair butter, smoothies, lotions, leave-ins. Avoid hair coming in contact with water. Double wrap hair before entering the shower. Use a dry shampoo. This Bastis is my favorite. Wrap hair or wear a satin bonnet at night before bed. Use a serum or gloss instead of oil, sheen, or grease. I don't perspire heavily at the gym. My workouts are light, so I wear only a ponytail at the gym. When I flat iron my hair, I don't want it partially straight or semi-straight. I want it bone straight, which is why I use a 450 degree temperature. Same thing goes for the body of my hair. I don't want limp hair. I don't want dull, stiff, or lifeless hair after I'm done flat ironing. Honey, I went through too much to straighten my hair to get mediocre results. So if I'm gonna go through the hassle of deconditioning my hair, stretching my hair, flat ironing my hair, as a result, I want my hair to move. I want it to bounce. I want it to sway when I walk. I want it to take on a life of its own. You know what I mean? And usually the body of my hair lasts weeks after initial styling. And I accomplish this by using products that don't weight my hair down and actually adds body and prolongs the longevity of my hair. Now I use Batiste Dry Shampoo and I think it's perfect for keeping my hair oil free, odor free, because my hair does accumulate sebum uh, around the two week mark. My hair gets pretty limp, it gets pretty oily, and it does look pretty lifeless. So I do use shampoo, dry shampoo, to bring the life back into my hair. I don't really use serums on my hair unless it's humid outside. Or if it's been around two or three week mark, I guess, I'll use it to smooth down my edges or my nape. But for the most part, I only use dry shampoo on my hair. I believe less is more when it comes to hair care and maintenance. My nighttime routine is pretty simple. I either wrap it or put on a silk bonnet. Done.